Welcome back to Turner Farms, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm gonna go feed steers with the good old Kubota SSV 65 here. So, my uncle Ben and Brand are on vacation and they've been on vacation for a few days now. So, we've been taking care of the chores around the farm here, me and dad have been. So, this is the job that each of my uncle Ben does, along with mix and feed, which I haven't had to do yet. I actually haven't had to mix feed by myself over five years. I used to do it before the dairy. Grandpa sat on the tractor, but I did everything else. Anywho, we're gonna go feed chores. Or feed chores. Feed steers. Dad's doing chores in the barn. It's just past two o'clock. Why are we doing chores now? I'll get in the sketchy here and I'll tell you because it's cold out here. Alright, it's turned like a bowl now. So, we're doing chores right now is because with my Uncle Ben and Brand on, Ben usually does the chores in the morning, around 6, somewhere in there. And with him gone, my dad gets up in the morning around 2, two he gets up in the morning around 2 a.m. to go to work, so he's got to be at work by 2.30. So he's been getting up about 1, 1 to come over here and do chores in the morning. So then I'm going to have to do it about 1.32 in the afternoon. So... That's why we're doing chores now. I would help do chores in the morning, but I can't because I have school. And so, yeah, Dad's just been doing them. And I've been helping when I can, but I have a job right after school, too, so I have to go there and then come home and help out here. But it's nothing much. It's just basically making sure the cattle are fed, waters aren't froze, and bedding them. Which you're going to have to do a little bit of. Two of those things today, batting and feeding. So yeah, water's having froze up. You got knocking. Oh crap, no wood to knock on. I messed up. But yeah, we're gonna get feeding. As you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but there's frost on the frame in here. I got the heat turned on, but I'm gonna make a bowl to warm up here a bit. So yeah, let's get going. So we're gonna go back here behind the egg bags and grab some snappage out of the one egg bag here. Now this is my first time I fed silage in quite a while. I'm gonna try to think the last time I fed silage. Just about a couple months. Maybe half a year even. So I gotta come back here, grab. Let's see, what is the mix? Four buckets of silage with one bucket of snaplage and a quarter bucket of ground feed. So I got snaplage in this bag here. And I got silage in them bags there for when the pit runs out. So I gotta set you guys down. I gotta figure out a way. You guys aren't gonna see much. I really need to get a holder or an actual camera to set you guys down, but I'm gonna grab a scoop of a snapwich here and then I'll go for four buckets of feed, but I guess Dad's already got some feed mixed up over there for me, so I just gotta feed it out. So, pitter patter. All right, so I got the first bucket of silage here. I didn't have to mix anything up. Dad's had a little pile there mixed from yesterday. So this skits has got this nice ride control on it. It's basically like a cushion with the you can watch the boom fluctuate when you go over a bump. It's just like it's an air it's like air ride almost. It's really smooth. You just hit this button here on the joystick. And man, it's smooth. That's the first time I've ever used it actually. But the pit back there is really rough, which is the main reason we fill these egg bakes back here. So that way, you can see they're all licking their tongues, they're ready to eat. And they're probably licking their tongues too because they're lacking salt. And you put salt out. So basically I just put a little bit out, dump a little here, a little there, a little there, so on down the line. So I need a head cam to set you guys on my head or something. Someone give me a GoPro. Nah, you don't have to do that. I'm gonna get a camera here shortly so I don't have to use my phone all the time. Alright, so everybody's fed. I just fed the grain, what we call the grand group here. Which, if you know from previous videos, is where we push our weaned calves to. They just get about, I don't know, half a bucket between these two troughs here. Fed all the steers over there and on the other side of the road. And I fed these big guys here. They don't take much. They only take like three-fourths of a bucket. But yeah, there's the rig. So no, we don't have a TMR. We just use the bucket here. We throw all the silage against... I should explain it over there. Against, I can't see my camera, so I don't know. There's a wall, somewhere's in there, we throw it against. And we throw four buckets of corn silage down. 
bucket of ear lids or snap lids, whatever you want to call it, and then quarter bucket of grain feed, ear corn. Well, I guess the snap which is more ear corn, but yeah, then we just mix it all together a couple times, and then yeah. I actually dug into some hay slides today too, so they actually had a little bit of haylage in there. That's almost two years old, but still looks really good. So that's good though. Speed's keeping up good, so go park the Kubota and I gotta go to work. Grinding feed. Not me, but. My Uncle Ben and Cousin Brian are over there grinding feed. That's one of the chores they do around here. And yes, we're still grinding ear corn. Getting her done. Well, these guys just got their first dose of wood chips. As you can see, the jerseys like it. You just flaunt it in his face. Well, the gate's open. Come on. I better get out of here while I can. Got a buck and skitzer there, gonna dump on the small guy's side. We batted inside the barn, actually. We actually, threw that one bedding from up in the barn for the first time in a couple years. It's always fun going up in that barn. What are you, a bull now? So this is a Jersey Holstein mix here, so he's got some Jersey traits in him, as you can tell. And he's friendly too. And they're starting to come in now. Oh! That's what you get for trying to jump them. Yeah. Huh. Way to go. See, here they all come now. Surprised that steak's not jumping the heifers in here, the Free Martins. First dose of wood chips. I guess they like them. This stuff smells good too. It smells like pine. It smells like the fair, like Dad says. Uh, there's another friendly jersey right there. Well, I guess do the other side here now. What you doing, Dad? We are putting the rear main seal in the engine. Today. I borrowed a tool to put this in. That's what that is right there. <coughs> So what are you putting on that right now? <clears throat> I'm kind of putting a gasket you know, sealer on here. On both ends because one in the crankshaft <clears throat> and the other in the seal. It's an anaerobic material, so <clears throat> I don't remember how to use this, so. Thank you. 
clumsy. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I don't want to use an impact on that. So it's doing two things at once. It's pushing the seal and that speedy sleep on the crankshaft. Yeah, Dad brought that here from the guy in town. Probably gonna take it back here. Well, it closes at one. It's uh, just past ten thirty in the morning. It's a flush. I think it could honestly go a little bit more. I'm gonna take it off and look at it. Because <clears throat> the crankshaft is right there, and the seal is barely riding on that speedy sleeve. Where is that seal in there further? Yeah. So Dad put a plastic spacer that came with the seal in there just to try to push it a bit farther. The seal itself. The seal itself, yeah. Under the speedy sleeve a little bit further. It's right at the edge. <clears throat> I'd rather have it on the speedy sleeve sleeve. And barely on it. Yeah, then barely. So the spacer should help push it. A bit more. Yeah. It's a tool until it bottoms out, too. That could be part of it. Maybe. You almost bottomed out? Well, there was a little bit of a space, but. Mm -hmm. It's definitely better all the way around. <clears throat> Time for flywheel. <clears throat> <clears throat> 